Do you think masks work? Um, I'll answer that if you can tell me what's 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 similar between a seven forty seven and a and a uh, car. What's similar? Yeah, they both hold people. They both have tires. That's it. Well, masks are like tires. You know, it's it's they're different. They're totally different. And so whether you had the N95 on, that thing that I wore into the studio, which is a high level of protection, or you wear a face cloth covering, totally difference between night and day how well they work. You know, shortly I was after on, when I was on here in 2020, I wrote a piece in April of 2020 saying this is aerosol transmitted. It's like a perfume. It's like smoke. And basically you have to have high level respiratory protection to really protect yourself. And what we get is we got into people saying, well, anything works. And some studies were done, which, frankly, if one of my graduate students had done those studies, I would have failed them because they were so badly done in terms of trying to understand did face cloth coverings work. Well, they don't. They're much more of a clothing de declaration than they are anything about really working. And so when you ask me, do N95s and KN95s work, I'd say yes. If I say a face cloth covering, surgical mask, no. And that's and a big a, problem. A lot of people are wearing those surgical masks, which are to stop droplets when you're doing surgery, right? Yeah, that's what and, and, and not only that, but, you know, just on my trip down here, which this is only my second trip in two years. <laughs> Some of you used to fly 150,000 air miles a year. I can't tell you how many people were not wearing masks at all, even though it was mandated, or they wore them on their chin. They were chin diapers. Yeah. That was it. You know, we've been doing a study where we freeze frame news media uh, reports and just look at the people in the frame, whether indoors or outdoors. We have consistently seen since the beginning of the pandemic a quarter of the people wear it under their nose. That's like fixing three of the five screen doors in your submarine. You right. know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, what good does it do? So explain to me how uh, N95 masks work. If you can breathe out of them. Yeah. If you can breathe into it and breathe out of them, what are they doing to protect you from yep. infection? And what are they doing to protect other people from being infected and by you? And that is the key issue right there. People don't understand the difference. There are two issues that are critically important to protecting you and protecting others from you. That is fit and filtration. Think about swim goggles. I mean, you know, it's all about fit. You know, mm -hmm. if they don't seal right. completely, they leak, okay? So you got to have something that's a very tight fit. That means also, by the way, you can't wear a beard. If you wear a beard, you invalidate anything you put in front of your face because it all leaks right through, okay? It, one of the problems we have with kids is we don't have good sizes because N95s, as basically over, the oversight regulation of those comes from the occupational world. It's largely for professional use, and we've never really looked at for personal use. So I will have to say fit is a challenge, okay? It absolutely is. But filtration is what's critical, and people don't get this. The material in an N95 is a milk-blowing material. It's actually it's a what? A milk blowing. It's like a foam that hardens, okay? And it has Are you saying milk? Milk, yeah. That's like, what they call it. Yep. Just okay. like that. Yeah. And it is basically one that has large enough spaces in it that allows air to move through it regularly, okay? But like a good f electronic filter you might put in a room, it has an electrostatic charge in it. Oh. So as the viruses come through, they get grabbed quickly. So and this works really well. The virus clings to the outside of the mask? No, it's in, actually as it comes in, it's outside, but it's on the inside too. As the mask, that's why it's like it is. And so this special material is what gives you both the breathability but also the protection. So when you wear a cloth, even if you can breathe, you have no protection. The virus will come right through, in and out. Oh, okay. So when you see, I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen these, uh, there's a doctor who uh, uses a vape pen and he blows through various masks to show you the, the porous nature of them. And he uses a surgical mask and a cloth yeah. mask, but he also uses an N95. So you think that that is disingenuous because he's not taking into account the electrical charge of this mask that actually... Exactly. You want, you want to have it breathable. You want to be able to make certain you that... You have to, otherwise yeah, you'll I mean, die. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. I jokingly say I could stop all transmission if you let me put cellophane over people's faces, but that wouldn't last very right. long. And so that's what makes these so really important. And so what we need, though, is we need a major initiative to basically develop a personal 
N95-like material that's comfortable, that people can wear with good fit, and that people can actually breathe through in a way that uh, they'll use them. So the N95 material, and it, you said it's a, a milk, what is it? Milk we, born, blown. It's milk basically blown. A, it's a type of industrial process where they basically put this material down and it has the electrostatic charge in it. It has the porous nature that lets air move in and out. Now, should they be replaced on a regular basis? And if so, like how regular? You know, only when they're really soiled or they're not tight fitting tight in your face. You can actually wear them for quite some time. I wear, my, I wear my N95 for days. Days? Yeah, days. But and you should probably have a new one once a week or something? If you can, that's great. You know, they run a little over a buck, buck 50 some places. Um, and uh, I think the most important thing about them is right now they're readily available. Early on in the pandemic, you know, all of us said don't use them because healthcare workers need them and we had a major short supply. Mm -hmm. But by the summer of 2020, all of the manufacturers had so boost production that we have more than enough right now. So the public can use them. They can be very helpful, but you got to use them. 